hey everyone and welcome back to my channel um this is going to be a plan with me in my classic size happy pan planner i'm using the this is your year planner but you guys know i've changed the cover to be this still don't have anything on it so i need to definitely work on figuring out what i want there um before i get into uh, this week i wanted to quickly show you last week so here is the first part of last week i'm going to zoom in just a little bit so here's the first part of last week remember i did last week spread in red because it was um my brother's birthday on saturday and my cousin's birthday on wednesday and his favorite color is red and her, her sorority is red so i picked red um monday was founder's day um for um the fraternity that um is the brother fraternity to my sorority so i put that on the calendar in blue i could not 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 put it in red and i had to do some stuff uh, monday was my double stars day at starbucks so i did that and i had some other things going on that i wanted to do for the week uh one of the things on wednesday i wrote work out plan research and so I have a little bit of information over here on some stuff that I did for um, some of the research for the workout plan which you'll be able to see later um, my cousin had a baby shower on Saturday um, this is her invitation I just hole punched it and put it inside so that I could have it I guess as a keepsake um, then this was the second half of my week um on thursday we made candy apples for the baby shower so i put that on here but i found in my teacher planner this little apple and to do so i thought that was really cute um cowboys play on sunday yay 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 go cowboys um so i of course had to put that and i couldn't put that in red either and then i put of course um me and my brother because his birthday was on saturday so saturday and so that's really about it for last week. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the week of January 16th through January 22nd. <clears throat> I have a few things in here or sticky notes on here of things that I need to do. So I'm going to take those off, but definitely make sure that I have those available um, for next week. I'm going to get back out. That's the wrong way. Okay. Alright, so here is this week. I'm going to take this off. That's a doctor's appointment I have that I re need to reschedule. And then some stuff I need to do because school starts for me on Tuesday. So Monday is Founders Day for my sorority and our colors are royal blue and white. And here's my coaster that I keep right here on my craft table with, for my drink. Anyways, um, these are the only blues that I had. I was pretty shocked and pretty disappointed with myself that I only had um, these two. Um... I did have a white. I don't know how I'll be able to infuse white on white paper, um, but I am going to have to incorporate some black. Um, and this is the black that is as close to this as possible. But I am going to have to incorporate some black because I didn't have any blue stickers. Like I looked, looked through my sticker books and I didn't have blue. Hopefully I'll be able to put some silver. Um, I found this sparkly blue it's not really royal blue but it's pretty and then I have just a shiny silver so I don't even know that I'm going to use all of these but um, I have them available just in case I'm going through and figure out something that I want to use so like I said definitely going to incorporate the black because um, I couldn't find any black I was pretty upset I mean I couldn't find any blue I was pretty upset with that so let's go ahead and get started um, I am in this group on Facebook and the book is called Black Women Who Plan and Create and in that group I found these adorable stickers um, for my sorority so I printed them out on some sticker paper and I'm going to cut them out and use them um, I had like some paper left so I tried to put a few other stickers at the top some of them kind of um, go over the bottom row of stickers but I'm going to figure out how I'll be able to put those in as well so like I said um, Monday is Founders Day so I'm definitely going to put this sticker on Monday and I don't know what words I'm going to put yet but I'll figure that out as I go along but definitely going to put the logo on there and I'm going to put the blue logo so I'm going to go ahead and cut that one out and all I did was 
uh, print it on clear sticker paper that I bought. I think I bought the sticker paper at Hobby Lobby. Um, this is what it looks like, so I'm going to kind of trim around it. Not perfectly, because I've used this before, and it's not too bad um, when you use it. So I have decided that my goal um, for these plan with me videos is to try to stay within 20 minutes. So for me, that's probably going to be super hard um, because that's kind of cut off. I'm going to put it close to the bottom like that. Um, anyways, so I'm going to try really hard to stay in that 20 minutes or as close to 20 minutes as possible. Um, so hopefully I can do that, but we'll see. Um, I thought in here I had a sticker that said Martin Luther King Day, but I guess I don't. Not in the, and this is in this 1829 book, which I like so much. I know that in the mom sticker book. There's also some holidays, but those are gold. Don't necessarily want to use those, but if there's one in there, I'll go ahead and use it. Let's see real quick. See, there it is right there in gold. But like I said, I don't really want to use gold. So let me see. Maybe I'm overlooking it. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Um, in this sticker book. Because I have... Um, the productivity sticker book as well and I think that the um, holidays in that productivity sticker book are also um, gold look I thought it was the same stickers look at that it is all daylight savings oh then it changes Christmas Eve April Fool's Christmas President's Day Ugh. Okay, I'm going to look in one more, and then if I don't see it in this one, I'm just going to move on. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but guys, I'm just pouring down raining. Like, that noise that you hear in the background, if you can hear it, is rain. If you can't hear it, it's pouring. Um, once again, I gotta do something with these stickers. Like, it's gonna drive me crazy. Now I know y'all heard that thunder. Um, it's gonna drive me crazy. This uh. Like, you would think that, like, with so many, like, okay, so after a while, you keep using it, and you kind of know, like, where the stickers are, and I definitely try to look on the back, um, to see what stickers are in a pack, but y'all, it's still so many, and I don't even have all the books, so I gotta figure out, like, a better way, um, to get these together so anyways I don't know where those other ones I know it's another page of gold but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and use the gold so we know that um, Monday is Martin Luther King Jr. Day and luckily because I'm a teacher it's a holiday that I get to celebrate and I am appreciative of Dr. King's contribution to um, this country in this world actually so alright let's put down some washi because of course I gotta have some washi and because uh, I'm gonna be using the stickers then I'm gonna just kinda put washi in random places so this week, for me, school starts back up again. 
starts on Tuesday. Right now, I am scheduled to only take one class, but I want to take two, which is one of the stickies that I had. I need to contact um, the school because um, there's some issues going on. But anyways, um, so um, these two classes that I take this semester will give me a total of 19 hours um, of graduate level math classes and so with those 19 hours of graduate level math classes I will be able to teach college level math courses so I'm really excited about that so that means that by the time May comes I can start like genuinely searching for some type of adjunct position um, to teach a few classes so I'm really excited about that like super excited because that's something that I've wanted to do for a long time um, I used to teach developmental classes at the community college um, but I stopped teaching those um, maybe like two or three years ago and I just kind of said to myself, you know, Keisha, do what you got to do to be able to teach the real thing. And not that developmental classes are not the real thing, but they started to phase out developmental classes. So with the phase out, it's like, okay, you got to do what you got to do so you can like teach the real classes. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to tell you, last semester I started off taking two classes. And I ended up dropping um, one of the classes because it was hard. Like, it was hard. And my teacher, it was like one of those self learn classes. So, basically, he like gave us a list of what he wanted us to know by the end of the week. And then we just had to research it, either from the book or off the internet. And then that was it like you research it get the information turn it in at the end of the week um, and that was it y'all I turned in that first assignment and on the first assignment I got I think like a 37 or 38 and I was and then the, the thing was when I got the assignment back it was like maybe three or four days before the test so I was like I don't even know this and so you know I had to figure out what I was gonna do so I went ahead and took the first test and then when I took the first test I ended up getting a 30 okay so let's say I know it was in the 30s oh that's cricket so let's say I got a 37 on the homework, right? Well, on the test, I got a 36, so one point less. So what does that tell me? The one thing it did tell me for sure is that, oh, that's the same box. The one thing that it told me for sure is that I was consistent. <laughs> like, I averaged 30-something percent of the information from those first few weeks, but then the other thing that it told me for sure was that um that was not going to work out for me so um I was like well Keisha this is not you are not about that life you are not finna fail so I ended up um dropping the class and so I dropped the class and I focused on my other class and even though you know I was working really hard in that other class it was still very tough um, especially when it was time for me to try to um, come up with or remember I guess concepts from calculus especially because I hadn't taken calculus in like 15 years so yeah I ended up sorry that's my phone so I ended up dropping the class and that was it moved on 
um no 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 so i ended up like setting super hard super hard and i ended up with the c and like at first i was gonna be like oh my gosh keisha you are that was horrible you know but i worked really hard for that c and i was really proud um of the c that i earned in that class so i got a c and we're moving on to this semester <laughs> Now I have to take the second part of the class, and that starts on Tuesday, so we'll see how it goes. The good thing is that it's the same teacher. The even better thing is that like I know his style now, so I think that you know I know what to do going into the class and how to how to study what I need to do to be successful because I think you know. I feel like he was a great teacher so I'm excited about that um, this is from the faith sticker book and it says ask seek knock so that's really cute so I'm gonna put that at the bottom I feel like I need like some blue down there so before I put it I'm gonna put like a piece of washi Let's see. I'm going to put the washi here and pull it all the way to the end and tear it off at the end of the paper. And then I'm going to go back and trim it in the zigzag shape. What that is. Ooh, kind of cute. And then I'm going to put this right above it. So I don't work on Monday, so I don't really have a lot to do on Monday. So that works out um, really well as far as being able to kind of put stuff there. Um, let's see. I've got to put some more stickers. Oh, this is a cute one, and I don't know that it's necessarily have anything to do. Let's see. Um, so when the new year started, I said that I was going to try to read one book a week, and okay, I'm gonna tell you, I read. I don't want to say trashy, but I read a lot of romance novels. Um, and the novels are um, from the Harlequin series. And I know that some of you know like about Harlequin series because, you know, it would always be the man on the cover half naked um, with long flowy hair, abs of steel, whatever, whatever. So, um... I read those books. I love those books. I'm addicted to them. Um, but they have, the Harlequin has a line called Kimani Romance Novels. And those are the books that I read. And usually each book is about 205, 210 pages. And if you leave me alone, like, I could read a whole book in one night. Um, but, you know, because of school and work and stuff like that, I'm not always able to read. Um, so I said that this year I needed to make it a point to, got something, uh, read more. Um, so I put this little lady here to remind me to read. Okay, now I'm going to go to the, um, now I'm going to go to the color storybook. And I'm going to pick some sticker boxes that are from the black and white section um, where I can actually write stuff. Ooh, and now that I think about it, oh my gosh. Um, oh, I know, I know. There's a sticker in the 1, 2, 3, 4 book that I want to use. It kind of looks like this, but it's a double box. Oh, there's some double box in here too. I don't want the gold. Um... Let's see. One thing at a time. That's cute. 
Uh, the I Love Weekend has gold, so I'm not going to use that. I think I'll just use this um, black and white box. Let's see. Oh, okay, let's see. I'm going to take this black and white box and I'm going to cut it at a diagonal. And let's see. I'm going to put the bottom half here. And I'm going to put the top half right here. Oops. Okay, that's kind of cute. And then, I guess I'm not using that double sticker anymore. Um, and then I want to put something on there to bring out some blue. Um, because I like the black, but it kind of seems out of place. So let's see. Do I have so I just saw some blue hearts got those blue hearts right there let's see I thought maybe there were going to be some on here because I used those last week, but I don't see any. Oh, but there's one more place, I think, in the mom pack that there are, like, some stars and stuff. Not the mom pack. Oh. Okay, maybe productivity. Gotta get my life together. That's teacher. Okay, I gotta get my life together with these stickers. It is really pouring down, pouring down. I don't see the thing in here, but there is one that I did see. Oh, phone call. I better put this down before I forget. Because I got to call this school on Tuesday. About getting my classes fixed. Okay. Um, Y'all, the weather has been crazy, crazy, crazy across the country. So, what is the weather like? Oh, did y'all see the lights flash? Okay. What is the weather like where you are? Um, here, um, like we had a fake snow day. Then it was hot. Um, it was really nice. Well, it was really nice this week. And then it's been gloomy because uh, of the rain coming. Y'all, it's just been crazy. Like, I know that some people have, like, crazy amounts of snow. And I've seen quite a few people who had um, snow days in the earlier part of their weeks. So, I uh, just crazy 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 this weather okay like I'm trying so hard to find stickers that I've seen and I, I want to have like all the stickers that I'm going to use ready uh, when I start on the video but clearly that's not working in my favor today anyways so let me just use these hearts and go on about my business because I don't see I already said I didn't even have a lot of blue stuff anyways, so. I don't really like that. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll, I'm going to keep this heart. And I'm going to use this uh, sheet to put down stuff that happens this week. So I'm going to keep that there. And to do something about this black that I think is too much. 
I'm gonna put two. Oh, I'm gonna put these little ladies. That's gonna be cute. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I don't know if this sticker is supposed to be one sticker or two, but it's two of the same thing, so I'm going to use it as two. I think it's going to be so cute, this little Zeta girl. And I'm going to put one on each of these little black boxes to try to take away from the black and incorporate some blue. So. There she is right there. And let me trim this one up. And here she is right here. All right, so I'm just about finished. I just feel like I need some, um, a couple of boxes. So let's see. Excellent. Let's see. It looks like we are under a, you can't see, a flash for flood warning. Oh gosh. I mean, no need to get nervous, but uh, this weather is crazy, crazy. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I want to put this weekend plans on there before I put the weekend's plans. I'm going to put some more of this blue washi since it is, the weekend plans is black and white. And then I wanted to mm, on Tuesday I have a meeting so I want to put that on there and I'm going to put an important box over here on the left it's just so I can write some things down that I may need to write down and I wanted to put um, another box like that important box on the second half of the week like a to-do box or today box or something. Let's see, that one didn't have, where's that 1829 book? I'm gonna check this one. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to this week write in black or if I'm going to write in blue. Or I may just do a combination of both. Okay. I found one box that says things to do. I really need a things to do box. I just want a box of like um what am I looking for? Just like a, a today box or something like that. I think I can find one in here. Nope, no luck. Let's see what's in. 
Uh, I hate when I have an idea and can't find what I'm looking for. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to look for this last box that I'm looking for and get this down. And that's going to be um, pretty much it for this layout. I like it so much. Um, of course, because I love my sorority. I love the blue. Um, and I think it turned out better than I anticipated. Especially because I didn't have a lot of washi. Or I didn't have a lot of um, blue. <laughs> as far as uh, stickers. And so whoever created these stickers and posted them. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to put a link to the group. Um, I'm going to put a link to the group in the description box so anybody can know. Alright, so I'm going to leave that down there. I think that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know that I definitely went over my 20 minutes this time. So next time I'm still going to be working and my goal is to get the video um, completed in 20 minutes or less. So again, thanks for watching and have a fantastic week.